Hi all, today we're going to talk you through your first DC fast charge. A lot of people are buying their first electric car right now and with that comes your first DC rapid or fast charge. Here in New Zealand we use a few different types of DC fast charger. The most popular ones you're going to see look like this. This one here, a hypercharger, or some alternatives. All of which can charge your leaf at maximum speed. Also you may see the Tesla superchargers that cannot currently be used with a Nissan Leaf. Occasionally these in more out of the way places those will charge your car at half the normal speed but still faster than charging at home the main differences that matter to you are this one here has two cables for the two main different standards that electric cars use but only one car can charge at a time and plugging in a second car does nothing it will not mean that you can remote activate the charger when the first car has finished most of the fast chargers will be a similar setup regardless of what they look like there are some exceptions the HPC has three cables and can charge three cars at once. However, the price of charging at these can be quite a bit more than the one car at a time units. The easiest way to know the cost in advance is to look at the ChargeNet app. This does allow you to activate the chargers from your phone, as well as find the nearest ChargeNet charger on a map and a few other useful features. It only works with ChargeNet chargers, of course. Here's how you charge your leaf when out on a roadie. Drive forward to the fast charger. You need to be within about 1.5 to 2 meters of the unit. Park, turn off your car, open the charging flap in the nose, then walk up to the front of your car and open up the larger of the two charging ports. Have a look at the charger itself. Note there should be some lights flashing away on the front and both cables should be tucked neatly into their holders. Pull the round charger cable out. There is a very obvious difference between the two cables so you can't mix them up. Push the plug into the socket and there should be an obvious click as the plug engages. Press your fob against the circle that says www.app. You should hear a beep from the unit to confirm. You can press the 80 slash max button to choose from either the fastest, cheapest and best for your battery 80% or the longer and more expensive maximum of 94%. Then press start and the blue lights in the middle of the display should start to flash. Now you can leave your car to charge until it's finished, but it is polite to come back around the time it finishes in case anybody else wants to charge. If you want to stop charging before your car wants to, just swipe your fob again. Then you can press stop and take the plug out. Or you can deactivate it from the app. Now some troubleshooting. If the car does not want to charge, go back to first principles. Put the plug back in the machine, start again. There is a timer of about 30 seconds from when you take the plug out. It's car dependent though, so this can vary. It's relatively easy to go over that time whilst finding your keys. On some of the units, like the one we have, the screen can start to delaminate in the middle because it's in the sun. And that is right where the start button is, so make sure the button is pressed hard enough to activate it. If all the lights are off when you arrive, the unit may have broken or may have been disabled. These can often be brought back to life by turning the emergency stop button on the bottom of the unit. If none of these work, why not give ChargeNet a call? They'd love to help you through it. 